Hello, this is a picture of a an exploration ship. It's a Diamondback Explorer, which is a super duper exploration ship. It's it's really accessible as a starter exploring ship. It's uh, about the chunkiest ship you can get on a small pad as well. So it's, it's it's reasonably well able to look after itself in as far as an exploration ship ever can. Uh, you can fit a few weapons on there if you wanted to. It's cool as well, so if you prefer to not be seen, you can minimise the heat emissions really well. You can get a really good jump range out of a Diamondback. Lacon makes such good explorers. They've got the Asp Explorer and the Diamondback Explorer. The rest is the Lacon ships are like your type. Type 6, 7, 10, whatnot. And then you've got the Alliance ships, the uh, the Chieftains and everything. And they're geared towards different things. I, I love my Diamondback. I have a little Diamondback that I use quite a lot. It's so useful for nipping around. As long as you don't necessarily want to carry anything in particular. Like, you wouldn't mine in it because it's just... It just you can't hold anything in it particularly. But... Um, I imagine maybe like a couple of high class tourists and that would be probably ideal but certainly for going to places to, to do a bit of sightseeing and data carrying and all of the related exploration things you know take your SRV out to see a few places make your millions and bio scanning on the planetary surfaces this is the perfect ship it's small enough to fit in those tiny little crevices that they put the Guardian sites in as well so that's convenient I, I quite like using chalk pencils sometimes because for metallic -y engineered structures it, they're a bit more precise and you can sharpen them like a pencil although they don't always hold the point particularly well. They're, they're handy for doing those highlights and it's weird that I ended up making this, this diamond pack pink and green. It's got that gunmetal army look about it and there it is hovering over this, this planet with the, uh, with the moon on the horizon, so vividly close and looming. They're clearly quite close, these two planetary bodies. I, I really enjoyed using the colour of the paper on this because I, I normally I just choose my colour with, with reference to the colour of the picture I'm going to do, but then I just slap chalk all over it so you don't actually see the paper in the end anyway. But with this, I kind of left the paper a little bit empty at the bottom. I obviously needed to change the colour of the sky, but I quite like the contrast of that and the, the slight kind of tinge of the, the pinkish ground as it reflects off the dull sheen of the metal and those little highlights in lime green here and there. Yeah, this was a, a super satisfying picture to do. Anyway, thank you for watching. <laughs>